Sorry about that, but I had to relieve some steam and some stress. So unfortunately, I got my 20 pin sighted in on this new single pin bow sight from Rocky Mountain. What's going on, DLH Nation? That's right, it's Aaron Morse at Dumb Luck Hunter Outdoors. And uh, sorry about that, but I had to relieve some steam and some stress. So unfortunately, I got my 20 pin sighted in on this new single pin bow sight from Rocky Mountain. And yes, making that one adjustment where you take the pin housel from one side and just shifting it. And there it is, it now is a part. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna do it just like this to this side. Now, like I said, I'm gonna move it up, probably one spot. We're gonna start by moving it up one spot and then we'll go from there, okay? All right, let's see here. Let's get, oh. To the other side gives you exactly what you need to dial up and uh, check it out yeah now this is uh, the first one and then obviously you can see those two there and it moved to the left on me a little bit because I was I was cantering it was my fault not the not the pin you know like I said it was my fault it wasn't the it wasn't the bow sight this time Anyway, like I said, stress levels, got kids putting their heads through ceilings, and, and I don't get that one, but yeah, they did. Um, so yeah, I've been working and doing that all day and trying to repair a hole and trying to repair some other crap. So I just came out here to blow some steam. Sorry about that, but uh, there was a lot of dumb luck hunter issues here. <laughs> you chase your arrows when you're hitting high you move high when you're hitting low you move low and ladies and gentlemen let's just say i started off way low and so i put three arrows in my neighbor's front yard that's right in my front you're in my neighbor's front yard um realizing it and then when i realized it i dialed it down i moved it straight down like it was supposed to and <laughs> yeah yeah anyway um that was stupid. Part two will be me dialing this thing down and dialing it in to 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Hopefully it gets to 100, that'd be awesome. So anyway, let me let you go. Stay tuned. Here we What's go. up? That's right, I said stay tuned. Now, I got my cell phone. This will give you a little different angle on, uh, on my shots from the single pin uh, Rocky Mountain Bow Sight. Like I said, this is the first one. And these are the next two. You don't think those things are drilling, do you? So yeah, I think that's pretty pretty sick. Sitting right here. All right, so you see that tape right there? Now, this is what this video is about right here, is sighting it in, okay? Do not make the dumb luck hunter mistake that I just made and set it like a normal 20 pin, you know, like my normal 20 pin on my on my fixed bow sight because I had my 20 marker up here. This doesn't. work that way this is a driver sight this is a slide sight basically what you need to do is you have to put your 20 pin or your 20 mark down here at the bottom because what you do is I'm gonna flip flip my switch here I'm gonna flip my switch and from 20 we go up and see the bow sight moving down as I go up now I'm going down and it goes up because, yeah, when you go up, you basically have to lift your bow up, and that's how that works. Hopefully that makes sense. And then back down to 20, so I don't make that mistake again. 
and we'll lock that into position here. So that's my 20 marker, if my camera will focus. There you go, there's my 20 marker right there. Now, I will say one thing about it. This dude glows quite well, and I like it. I like it a lot. See the white ring around it? It's literally a glow in the dark. All you got to do is put a flashlight to it, and that thing will light up like a Christmas tree. The sight tape is also glow in the dark, so you'll never lose your, your sight. Now, I'm using a pencil, boys and girls. I'm using a pencil on this bow sight, on this tape, and to get my initial setup, and then I'll take a Sharpie to it. Once I get the initial setup going, I'll put my Sharpie to it and we'll we'll go from there and then it'll be more permanent that's what i like about this bow sight y'all hang on let me put this down Ugh. go down here and do your 20 because this is where you're supposed to do your 20. now and then what you do is i put it in with pencil i don't ever go in with a marker yet i go in with a pencil first get my get my yardages set 20 and I'm going to do five, so I'm going to go 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, as, as high as it's going to let me go. And hopefully this thing's going to let me get up to 100 yards. That way I can do a 100-yard challenge like I got dared to do, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, so you go up this way. But you can do tens, you can do whatever. Now, like I said, this sight tape, this allows you to make the, the marks. You're not relying on some stupid computer to do it for you. And then some algorithm that's set up that you've got to, to do this and this and 20. And 40 and 60. And then you pull the, the measurements and da, da, da. No, this right here, you go out, you go 20, you sight in your 20, you go to 25 or 30. Sight it in, shoot, go up to 40, shoot, 50, shoot, 60, shoot, 70, shoot. And you just do that and you take your time. What I, The reason why I like that is because, one, you get to understand your bow sight. You get to understand. You are more connected with that thing because you did the work yourself. Guys, there's something to be said about doing it the right way and doing it yourself. Because when you do it yourself, y'all that's when things function that's when you don't make mistakes okay i'm like me i made a big mistake look at that that dude's a beast anyway so elevation that's what it is that's your sight tape okay that's that's the last that is the last part that you go to and make your elevation adjustments because those are final those are that are set up all right let's we'll see here There you go. Now, this is the pin itself. This is the sight pin itself. This is for what they call micro adjustments. You move it up, you move it down, you chase your arrows. So whenever you're hitting pretty stinking close to bullseye and you want to hit dead center, you take this little dude right here and loosen it up and you move it up or down, however you got to do it. And that's why it's called micro, because it's micro adjustments till you hit bullseye. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you're like I am, you try to dial it up exactly to the to the point. Okay, massive move up and down. This right here, you pull these two bolts out. They're on the other side, and I'll show you in a minute. But I want to do it this side because this side will tell you exactly. It'll let you see it. Okay, but you pull these two these two screws out. These set screws here. And if you need to go down big adjustments, you need to go down, you chase your arrow big time, you go down. If you need to chase your arrow high because you're hitting way high, you go up. See these, this hole here and this hole here in between the screws, that's the original middle setup. That's how it comes to you. I take a Sharpie and I mark it. Of course, it's marked on the other side, not on this side, but that's your zero. So if you screw up, something doesn't go right, move it back to zero and start over okay and then but this is your this is your elevation okay this is your elevation and i will do a video on windage here shortly but elevation here and here 
okay? This is your massive elevation movement. This is up and down. This is when you're, when you're first starting to side in and you're hitting way high or you're hitting way low. Chase your arrow, okay, with these here, okay? And that's what I did, okay? Okay, micro adjustment here. This is your micro adjustment. This is your, your massive or your macro, your big adjustments right here. Big adjustments, micro education there you go boys that's economics for you too by the way and then this side here sight tape this is your windage for your distance this is not to be adjusted for for windage and stuff this is when when your when your micro and your macro are set up now you set up your distances and you start shooting your distances okay always start at the bottom because what the housing does when you roll that thing forward this whole housing drops down because for distances, it works in reverse. If you're hitting the low, you go down low. That adds distance, okay? When you're hitting high, it's because you're, you're shooting too far. So when you go up, it takes away distance. So that's why this is the way it is. So you start at 20 right here and you turn that knob and it goes up. That's for your distances and go back down here, okay? And that's how it is. Not too bad. You're hitting a little high, but that's me. That's not the bow sight. No, that's pretty good. He hit the middle two times. Well, about three times. Not too bad, not too shabby. That's the Rocky Mountain single pin dove tail bow sight slash single pin Cabela's Supreme bow sight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Let's see how many shots it takes to shoot max at 20 yards with the new Rocky Mountain bow sight. I haven't got out to do the 30, 40, 50, 60 yet. So let's see how accurate the Rocky Mountain single pin bow sight with a dovetail, how accurate is it? Can I shoot max? Who's Max, you might say? Max is a McDonald's toy from Secret Lights of Pets 2. There's Max. Poor Max. Why does McDonald's come up with these annoying toys that poor Max has to suffer? Stay tuned. So, who's gonna draw first blood? Victory Vape. bone collector or my good old reliable beaming white box here we go so long max sorry you gotta pay for this round two here we go. Um. Oh, poor Max lost his tail. <laughs> and that was with a beaming white box, boys and girls. Here we go. lost his head boom you don't think the this uh, rocky mountain single pin is shooting do you heck yeah <laughs>